Hi everyone, this is Lomi, and this week I'm making a wig from this alpaca fiber cut from the ponytail of the last wig I made. This is a slightly different method for wig making, applying the alpaca fleece directly to the wig cap instead of making wefts. This uses a lot less fiber, but it is a little more challenging to do. The starting point is the same as the other wig. Make a wig cap using white glue and a base, such as pantyhose. Then once it's dry, we'll take a small amount of fiber at a time and attach it to the wig cap. Put on a dab of glue, put the hair in it, and then add a little more glue on top. I use a popsicle stick to spread the glue over the top of the hair. My camera's battery died right after I started and I didn't notice right away, so you'll have to forgive the back already being attached. We'll just repeat this until all the hair is attached. Got the idea? Alright, let's speed up a bit. Work your way up the wig cap toward the crown. I stop a couple times to trim pieces of fiber that are way too long, using a method I shared in one of my previous videos. Like with the last wig I made, the glue I'm using is Aileen's Super Fabric Adhesive. You can use any kind of glue you want, even something like Elmer's White Glue, but I like this because it's completely waterproof and washable. That way if I want to style it, wash it, or use human hair products, I don't have to worry about the hair coming off when it's wet. It takes a lot less glue to do it this way, and it doesn't take much longer than applying pre-made wefts. You'll get some stray hairs that might stick to your fingers. Don't worry, there will be a lot more that come out when we brush and style the wig, but that's normal. When you apply hair to the front of the wig, you'll apply the locks in the direction you want them to lay. So instead of hanging straight down, I put the locks by his face at an angle. This will make the styling more natural later on. You also want to make sure the locks you use on the front and for the part are the nicest locks you have. If you have any that are frizzy looking, you might want to use them on the underneath of the back where they won't really show. We're going to go all the way up, covering the entire wig cap with hair. Then it needs to dry completely before we can make the part. To create the part, we'll need to make wefts.
I kept a few pretty locks to make into wefts. Just like in the last alpaca wig video I shared, I make wefts by applying glue to the top of the locks, spreading it with a popsicle stick, then letting them dry overnight. Once they're dry, they'll peel right off the foil and have this shiny plastic looking bit at the top. Cut off the extra and trim the corners so they'll be less visible. I like to round the edges a bit. Now we'll apply these on top to create a part. Putting a little glue on the underside of the weft, we'll lay it in the opposite direction of where we want it to go, so it'll fold over and hide the glued part of the weft. If you want, you only have to do this once, folding wefts over one direction, then you're done. But this makes one side of the wig sit slightly higher than the other, and I want my part to be level, so I apply wefts the same way on the other side, with the loose fibers butted up against the other side. That way when both sides are folded back it creates a nice flat part. Once the wefts are glued in place, let them dry overnight. It'll be poofy and wild, so once it's dry, we'll tame it with some basic styling. This is just a spray bottle filled with regular water. I spritz the wig just enough to make the surface wet, then it's time to start brushing the styling. For this, I use a baby hair brush because the soft bristles make the hair nice and smooth. The brush picks up a lot of that extra hair I was talking about. Bit by bit I smooth the hair. I also created some tangles when making the wig, so I use a regular brush to untangle it. Then it's just a matter of brushing, smoothing, and maybe spraying the hair again if it starts to get dry. In case you're wondering what the brush I use for tangles is, it's a Wet Brush Pro. This hairbrush is excellent for doll wigs since it's extremely gentle and untangles better than any brush I've ever used, all without breaking or tearing hair. The last thing to do is smooth out the part. You can use a flat iron for this, but I don't have one, so I just use a basic curling iron. It doesn't take much heat since the alpaca is so fine. The heat also makes the hair silky and shiny. And there's our part.
I smooth the surface over with just a little bit of heat and that's all there is to it. So here's his second wig. It's so soft and fluffy and easy to play with. I love the way the fiber feels. And it turned out pretty nice for a wig made with leftovers. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching.